Hello and welcome to another one of my rolled up sleeve sessions. Um, this evening I thought it would be nice to introduce you to a new melody which is one that I composed yesterday. So it's brand new and it's called the Flopperty Hornpipe. Now, the reason it's called the flopperty is because it flops, flip flops, backwards and forwards across the strings. So I guess the next thing will be to write the flipperty hornpipe, but that will come another time. Hornpipes. Now, a hornpipe is basically in 4-4 four, four rhythm. One, two, three, four. And it's not played too quickly. It's got quite a lumpy kind of rhythm. By that, I mean it's a very pronounced rhythm. You'll hear, as I play this tune, that there is a distinct beat going through the tune. It's not played too fast because, of course, with a hornpipe, dancers, who generally would dance to this tune, have quite intricate foot movements to do to um, dance with a hornpipe so in actual fact you don't generally tend to play them too quickly. Perhaps if you were performing the tune without dancers being there then it wouldn't matter you, you could go at whatever speed you liked but if you were playing for dancers you generally wouldn't play this too quickly and it has to be very rhythmical. So the floppity hornpipe um, great tune if you're just learning to play the fiddle or if you're a, a, a beginning, beginning down this journey because, and I know that some of you are because I've read your comments obviously and see that many of you say that you're learning to play the violin or the fiddle and um, the nice thing about hornpipes is because they're not played too quickly and because they bounce around across all the strings they do give you quite a bit of practice. This one's got a nice little run in it of triplets. You'll hear that, so that's quite good practice as well. So anyway, here we are. Without any, any further ado, I'll play the floppity hornpipe. Floppity Hornpipe. I'll upload the musical notation and put it in the 
community section so if you want to have a go at this tune yourself hopefully you'll enjoy playing it as I say the only tricky parts might be that little part at the beginning where you have to go from on the A string your first finger where you're playing the note B and you slide down to the B flat here it is that's the only tricky part perhaps and the other one is of course these triplets dead easy if you take take them slowly at first little groups of three notes if you just do that a few times you gradually get used to playing them and these hornpipes they've got that lo lovely rhythm Okay, so I hope that's been fun for you or interesting for you and you enjoy playing this tune and um, see you again very soon. Bye bye now.